여러분 안녕하세요. 오늘은 Pray of Thanksgiving 이라고 저의 그 365일 축복 기도에서 몇 개의 기도를 발췌해서 여러분에게 들고 왔습니다. Voice Recording은 Eloise Williams 초등학교 3학년이고요. 저의 손녀딸입니다. There is no greater gift or blessing than the children that God grants to families. We hope and pray for our children because we know the will of God for them. Otherwise, we would pray for them in selfish and worldly, worldly ways. God has entrusted us with our children. We are anointed missionaries entrusted by God to raise these children well. They were created in the image of God, made up of body, mind, and spirit. They have the same needs, needs that we have. They can feel spirit, spiritual thirst, and they have a need to mature spiritually. Protect them from evil plots. Genesis 37, 18 to 20. But they saw him in the distance, and before he reached them, they plotted to kill him. Here comes that dreamer, they said to each other. Come now, let's kill him and throw him into one of those cisterns, and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Then we'll see what comes of his dreams. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for our health. And thank you for our children. Thank you that we can experience the Sabbath rest of the Garden of e Eden in our family life. But bless us that we may have the eternal joy of the Garden of Eden. Thank you for giving us this joy through our children today. Lord, as our children grow up, Others may misunderstand them or even conspire them to harm them. But Lord, please protect them and guide them so they may be set free from the evil schemes of others. May our children always abide in you and not be led astray in an ambush. Lord, guard them from provoking others by being too arrogant or too popular or famous. Help them to be humble and lowly and not attract the attention of those who plot evil. Lord, we desire that our children be acknowledged and used by God. Please protect these, them moment by moment from the evil plots of others. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. My lips overflow with praise. Psalm 119, 171 to 172. My, may my lips overflow with praise, for you teach me your decrees. May my Tongue sing of your word, for all your commands are righteous. Lord, thank you again for giving us life and breath today. Thank you for this time of prayer with our children. We ask you to bless them in every area of their lives, especially at school and at church. Bless them with good health and joyful hearts. Help them to be filled with abundance as they rule over your creation. Lord, there are times when we complain about life, or even you. Help us to mature in faith and praise you and thank you in truth and spirit. Help us to use the lips you gave us to praise you, to share the gospel message, and to pray. Guard us from using our lips to judge, shame, or scorn others. Lord, may the word of our lips praise you and thank you. And may you be overjoyed in hearing these praises. Guard the lips of our children and anoint them with oil so they may be set apart from you. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Psalm 136, 1 to 2. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Lord, thank you for this month of November that marks the end of harvest. Thank you for the month of Thanksgiving. Thank you for filling us with abundant harvest and for giving us health to praise you. Lord, help us to know that through the farmer's hands, all these bl blessings of the harvest have come from you. Let there be no farmer who believes in trust in Baal. Help the farmers to know that you are the owner of everything in the universe. Lord, bless our children that they may know the God goodness and love of the Lord. Give them faith to know that you are always with them, faithful even when it seems like their prayers aren't being answered, when their situations become desperate, 
or when they feel far away from you. Help them to know that God is good and that God's love endures forever. Help them to know that God is the King of Kings, and may they focus their hearts on you. Lord, help our children to offer up their thanksgiving to you. We pray in the name of Jesus, who is good and whose love endures forever. Amen. Praise God as long as you live. Psalm 146, 1-2 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Lord, it is right to give you eternal thanks and praise. Thank you for leading our family to come to know you. Help us to thank you, not only during this Thanksgiving season, but every day of the year. Help us to praise you for as long as we live. Lord, you are delighted to hear the praises of little children. Help our children to give you pure praise. Lord, guide our children to give you praise every day, not only on just the special days. May Thanksgiving be a way of life for them. Sometimes it seems like sports stars or celebrities receive more praise and adoration than God. Help our children to recognize that this is getting very close to idol worship. Help them to praise you, praise and adore only you, Lord. Although they cannot see you with their eyes, help them to meet with you in their hearts, from whence, all, from whence comes all their praise. Help our children to taste the eternal praises of heaven. Even as they live in this world, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank God for the victory. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God. He helps us. The he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you are the God of victory. Thank you for giving us victory in this wicked world. We believe that we have already obtained our victory in you, Lord. Thank you especially for helping us to become, helping us to be victorious during this month. Guide us to continue to be victorious during the month of December. Lord, lead our children to thank you for giving them victory in this world. Help them to believe that all victory comes from the Lord for those who follow God. Help them to experience victory against the powers of darkness in, in their everyday lives. May our children praise you and thank you for this kind of victory. Lord, help them to know the difference between true victory in the Lord and the victory of this world. Help them to know that victory is not being self-centered, but abiding in the Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Protect us from incurable diseases. The Lord, Deuteronomy 28:27. The Lord will afflict on you with the boils of Egypt and with tumors, festering sores and the itch from which you cannot be cured. Lord, our healer, we pray for the health of, health of our children today. Although people think that modern medicine can heal anything, there are many people who have died because there was no healing. Lord, we pray for good health, and even if we should become ill, please give us your healing. Protect us from incurable diseases. Lord, we pray for the health of our family. When we become ill, please help us to meet comp competent doctors who can restore us back to health. We know that this kind of healing comes from obedience to the Lord. Only you have the power of healing in your hands. Guide, us, guide our family to obey you so we may receive the blessings of those who are obedient. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Deliver us from hopeless circumstances. Isaiah 43, 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not, will not set you ablaze. Lord, you are always with us. We have the joy of the Lord because you are our shepherd, we are, and we are not in want. Your rod and your staff comfort us when we are in the desperate and hopeless situation, situations that seem like we have entered the valley of, sh of the shadow of death. Lord, although we try our best to protect our children, we have human limitations. 
We cannot predict what our children will experience, moments of desperation or hopelessness. Please watch over them through these Please watch over them through these times. Lord, protect them from feeling from feelings of desperation if their cars happen to break down in the middle of a dark road. Please keep them from situations where a violent person might harm them. Protect them from strangers who plan to kidnap them. Protect them from life threatening fires. Protect them from thieves who come in the night and terrify families. Protect them from wild animals. Protect them from receiving tainted AIDS blood if they should ever need a blood transfusion. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Give them compassion for the weak. Psalm 41. Blessed is he who has regard for the weak. The Lord delivers him in times of trouble. You are a helper to the weak, O Lord. Thank you for watching over our family and for covering our weakness with your mercy. Without your help, we cannot gain wisdom no matter how much we study. We need your help even when we are making friends. Please help our family, especially our children. Please give them good health. Almighty God, you are pleased when we help the widow, widows and the orphans, just as you have helped us. We know that you are pleased when we help and counsel those who are weak. May our children also have this kind of attitude. Help us to remember that there have been times when we were the ones in need of help. Teach them to lift up those who are weak and to help those in need of in need through love. Help them to rely on the Lord in their own times of need and bless them with your redemption. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. 비디오를 함께 어, 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다. 어, 365일 어, 자녀들 축복 기도하고 그 데우리 오브 프락스에서 보 랜드워크 이두 권은 아마존 닷컴에 들어가시면 여러분들이 구입할 수 있습니다. 지금 이 사진은 저의 소녀딸과 함께 어, 지금 어, 이 기도를 녹음하고 있는 모습입니다. 여러분 다음에 또 뵙겠습니다. 감사합니다.